Hi, I'm Chris Horn, uh, V Specialist with an EMC, and we're here at Copenhagen 2010 at the EMC Hands-On Labs. We're going to talk a little bit about what we've been doing this week. We leveraged this lab in the U.S. and also brought it over here to Copenhagen that allows our EMC customers and VMware customers to get uh, hands-on with the technologies that we integrate with VMware uh, across our uh, application stack and our hardware stacks. So a couple different things that we've got going on in this lab this week is our EMC Abomar Virtual Edition. So backing up VMware uh, VMs and restoring them. Uh, EMC Symmetrics with beta code technology for VAAI. So integration with VMware um, ESX 4.1 and improving your storage experience through VAI. We've got a virtual VPlex lab, so storage federation, uh, allowing you to now virtualize your data center and your storage and getting sort of an active, active data center. Our EMC Solera running in virtual, so you can demonstrate our plugins and learn how to work more efficiently with EMC plugins for our, our Solera storage. We've got our EMC data domain folks here with us, and we're demonstrating all the dedupe goodness that you get out of the EMC data domain uh, appliance. And we've also worked with our RSA folks um, on our Envision. We actually have a virtual Envision environment and you can go through creating a virtual desktop environment and seeing how Envision actually captures that. On top of that, in the last couple of things, we're also leveraging our iOmega IX4 uh, storage center, showing the simplicity um, of some of our iOmega products. So the first thing I want to show you guys today is actually our vMix platform and what we're doing there. So if you'll come around here to the side, and it may be a little loud, so I apologize for that, but we've got here our, our uh, single engine vMix platform. Again, we're leveraging beta code so that we can do things with VAI and fast version 2, which allows the storage Tiering. Um, but what we've got in here is some different types of storage um, uh, drives. We've got our SATA drives, we've got our fiber channel drives, but we also have our SSD drives here. So this gives us a great amount of performance, um, and we can leverage this uh, in, in some of our fast cache stuff, uh, which we have now in our, in our mid-tier platform, but we'll get great performance out of our SSDs here. You can see we have a couple different trays. Here's our policy engine. So that just gives you a quick look, and everything that's running the EMC hands-on labs is actually running on this, uh, this storage array. So let's take a look actually what some of the stations look like. So we'll close this and we'll move on from here. So over here we have three of our stations. At this particular uh, lab environment we actually have six la uh, lab stations for our, our uh, our uh, people attending to actually take a look at. We're leveraging our WISE folks, or WISE terminals, so we're actually doing uh, connecting to our environment, our VM environment over those WISE terminals. We're doing a dual screen scenario here. Uh, my team actually put together a lab guide that walks you through. We actually have eight different labs that you can go through. As I mentioned earlier, We've got the VPlex lab, we've got a Unisphere, which is our unified uh, management platform for our mid-tier storage. We've got our plugins, our Avamar, our RSA, and so on and so forth through here. So when you first come into the lab, you've actually got uh, you know, a console that you'll come into. And the first lab that you may want to work through is our Avamar. And then we've got our, you know, just our infrastructure here. We've got our Solera Unis, uh, Unisphere appliance. We've got our VAA um, lab. We've got our plugins lab. And then we've got our VPlex lab. So a lot of good different labs, I think, uh, from this Copenhagen and also in the U.S. VPlex has been the most exciting lab. Um, and a lot of company or a lot of folks have been able to come in and actually take advantage of that. Um, it's been very exciting. On top of that, the Unisphere lab has also been the next most popular lab here um, and then followed probably by the plugins and the RSA uh, labs itself. So this is pretty much what the stations look like um, here in Copenhagen. And we're just going to go around and actually take a look at some of the, uh, some of the additional gear that we leveraged for this lab going forward. So we'll walk around here have our other stations here, other three stations that we're, we're leveraging here in the Copenhagen. And over here we have our Panduit rack, which is actually where all of our gear um, is put into place. So we'll open this up and we'll take a look at what we've got in here. If I can put the key in right. So, a couple different things. You'll notice Pretty clearly here in the gray, we're actually using Cisco UCS equipment for all of our labs. So we're doing FCOE, 
um, all connected to our environment um, in the back of the uh, VMAX. Uh, we've got actually eight blades here, so each lab has its own blade that you can work with. Uh, we've got like 256 megs of RAM, or gigs of RAM inside these guys. We're doing all boot from sand, so it's completely stateless. And again, as I mentioned, it's all connected over, over FCOE, so we're, we've got uh, 10 gigs for each blade, a uh, total of 80 gigs in the back of this plane. Um, and as many of you maybe know from, from uh, getting exposed to the UCS technology, they've sort of extracted the, um, the compute or the intelligence from the blades up to what we call our 6100 series. Um, and all this intelligence is actually levered in here, leveraged in here to manage and control these. We have our 5010s from Cisco, which are is a 10 gig fabric that we're actually connecting in um, our UCS as well as our VMAX in all of our networking. And then we've got some Dell uh, uh, rack mount servers that we're using for uh, backup and uh, a few other things for management across this lab environment. But the majority of the labs are all run here on the UCS chassis. Um, and then just a couple more things that we have in this rack. We actually have a IX-12 from EMC. It's a great uh, entry level NAS box. Does iSCSI, NFS, uh, you can even put SSDs in this, so a great entry-level NAS box. It's, it's VMware HCL approved. Uh, it's a great interface, great little box if you're just getting started. Down below that, we have our DD6680 appliance that we're showing our dedupe um, on. And this is, uh, you know, we've got several drives in here, and we're actually leveraging this connected via 10 gig. So uh, a great little box, uh, getting great dedupe ratios, and the lab shows a lot of that stuff going forward. And the last thing we actually have is just our IX4 box, even a, a sort of a lower tier platform, but also a great home tool that you could use if you want to build a little lab environment. So we're really leveraging and demonstrating a lot of different um, EMC, Cisco, and VMware technologies in this lab. So the last thing we'll do is we're just going to take a quick walk around back, and we'll wrap things up. We're just going to take a look and see how everything is actually configured in the back of it. So opening up the cabinet here, and we take a look here. One of the great things about Cisco UCS is the cleanness of the installation and how easy it is to get it configured. As you can see here, we have all the servers connected in over what we call the FEX module. This is, each one of these is actually a 10 gig port. So this back plane as it is actually supports 80 gigs with only eight cables in the back. So many of you who have traditional data centers have seen some of the cable management nightmares and things, and this is one of the greatest benefits amongst some of the other things uh, that Cisco has introduced around stateless and other things. But this is a, is a great part of it as well. We have our 6100s, which these are all connected up here. Again, 10 gig lig each. From there, we're actually up, very up, up linking to our 5010s. Our 5010s are then distributing to the rest of our network. Again, all via uh, you know, 10 gig across the board. So that's really just kind of a look from an infrastructure perspective that we're leveraging for these labs. Um, and it's been great to talk to you guys uh, here today in Copenhagen. If you have a chance, uh, come by the labs. And uh, if not, we'll see you at another show hopefully very soon with a bigger and better here labs that we can, you can experience many more uh, EMC technologies going forward. It's been nice talking to you from Copenhagen. Take care.